This week in our devotions, we've shared about using what we've been given and doing so in every good work and word that we do, as Paul wrote to the Thessalonians. And we've shared about how we use what we've been given in having the opportunity to pray and being gracious in how we speak uh, in persevering uh, through all the different times of life and seasons and challenges of life. And I want to close today with uh, a passage from the Gospel of Luke, Luke chapter 9, verses 57 to 62. And the final verse of that, and this is part of Jesus sharing about how our discipleship needs to be a top priority in our lives and also how we need to keep growing and moving forward. And he says in verse 62, uh, Jesus said to him, no one who puts a hand to the plow and looks back is fit for the kingdom of God. Now Jesus says this in response to somebody who had said, I will follow you, but let me first say farewell to those at my home, which seems like a fairly reasonable request. And the request before that, somebody said, Lord, let me first go and bury my father. Well, I mean, what could be more important than burying one's, one of one's parents? And especially in that culture, I mean, the idea of not properly taking care of burying one's father would have been unthinkable. And yet Jesus says, to him, you know, let the dead bury their own dead, but as for you, go and proclaim the kingdom of God. Uh, in this little section, in just these few verses, in Luke 9, 57 to 62, uh, what Jesus is saying, it, it seems to be really demanding. It seems in some ways almost extreme. It seems uh, neglectful of our relationships. And yet the challenge of Jesus is what it is. No one who puts their hand to the plow and looks back is fit for the kingdom of God. What is Jesus really trying to get people to understand there? I think he wants us to understand, first of all, using an image from farming, uh, a person following a couple of oxen in that day with a plow. If you kept turning back and looking over your shoulder, you probably wouldn't plow a straight line, right? You'd probably end up weaving all over the place, and that wouldn't be helpful. And in the same way, I think Jesus is saying, uh, once we start moving forward with him, once we start following him, uh, as one of the songs in our hymnal says, uh, there's no turning back. And so we want to relentlessly keep ourselves moving forward. And this is actually good advice, uh, not just in being a disciple of Jesus, but also in life. Uh, it can be hard, like with a person in this passage who loses a loved one very dear to him. It can be hard not to remain in the past or to be constantly looking back at what life was like with that person we loved, whether that's a spouse, a parent, a child, a sibling, a friend. And yet, life needs to be lived moving forward. Uh, you wouldn't get in your car and drive your car with your windshield completely covered, only using your rear view mirror. That would be a very dangerous way to drive, a very hard way to stay on the road, and you'd probably have an accident pretty quickly. And as a disciple of Jesus, we want to make sure that we're not looking back, we're looking forward to what is God calling me to do this day? Who is God calling me to keep growing and becoming this day?